Okay, today I'm just going to tell you real quick how you set up port forwarding. And I'm just going to give the basics. I'm not going to say this is for Minecraft or whatever. Just real fast for any kind of port forwarding you need to do because it's basically the same setup. Okay, first of all, you want to open command prompt. Um, ignore this window. This is my server that I have running right this moment. Ignore that. Okay, uh, push the Windows key, the key that looks like the Windows logo, and hold it and push R, and you get this little window. And if you've never used it before, it'll look like this, but because I used it, it had the last thing I used. Uh, you want to type CMD and hit Enter. It pops open this. Now you type in ipconfig as one word. ipconfig, you hit Enter. That pops up all this data, right? Now, look at this. Okay. Now, this is what you're looking for. Okay. Once you have, once you have the IPv4 address, which is the internal address of your computer, and you have the default gateway, which is the IP address of your router, you want to open up Internet Explorer. You actually want to use Internet Explorer for this. Firefox, for some reason, it, the, web, the router doesn't like Firefox, um, which is very annoying. Now, when you try to go to the this, to the IP address for it, it's going to ask for a username and password. Now, I have a Linksys router, so the default is no username and type in admin, A-D-M-I-N. And... Uh, for your router it may be different and your router it may look different right here but what you want to pay attention to is not how it looks but the words okay once you get in you want to first of all you want to enable DHCP server and click DHCP reservation and you get this window and then you want to choose a computer my computer is this one and uh, so I I'd already done this so I'm not actually gonna click the button but you select it and you click add clients and then it'll pop up in this list down here after you save settings make sure you save settings I don't know yours may look different to where you may not have to do that but just save settings and basically what this does it assigns an IP address to your computer. So this IP address 192.168.1.102 will be saved so that my computer whenever I connect to this network will always be that IP address. That way I don't have to worry about having to check that every time I disconnect and reconnect because I'm on a laptop. Now on this one you click applications and gaming um, on another one it, it may say just port forwarding I don't know you know and you gotta you gotta find out what it says now uh, this is just to help you remember what it is you put an application name um, and then it has some that are pre-programmed so if you want to set up like a telnet server it has the stuff for a telnet server ready for you if you want to set up one of these types of servers uh, then you can just select that one and skip straight to this part the two IP address now for instance, this is my Minecraft. So Minecraft runs on the port uh, 25565, so I put that in these boxes. Now let me tell you what these do, because you can change these if you want. External port is the port that people are going to need to connect to your server, right? So I'm leaving it the default, because that's just easier, because, you know, it just is. And then the internal port, if you want to set it to a different port on your computer for some reason, if you have a conflict or whatever, uh, you can change that. Of course, you have to change it in the Minecraft settings as well. And then protocol, if you know which one you need to use, then you select one. But um, usually it's just you use both. Now, to IP address. Now, see, this is the internal IP address thing. And like I said, mine's 102. So you got to set that to 102. If yours is different, you set it to whatever it is. Then you have to enable it, of course, because you can turn these on or off. And then as you can see right now, I just have a, I have a Terraria one and a Minecraft one. And you would click Save Settings down here at the bottom after you're done with that. And of course, I'm not actually going to do that because I'm, I've already set it up for now. Now, just this is a general purpose tutorial. Um, what a, You need to find out the ports you need to port forward 
to use this though. Um, for example, I have a friend who's trying to run a Gary's Mod server, and I don't know what ports you use. There's this website called portforward.com that is supposed to make it easy for you to set up port forwarding. Um, I, I never used it because it's uh, it was confusing and they didn't have my router on their list. They have a lot of stuff though. They might be able to help you out. If you if you couldn't figure out what I was saying from this tutorial, go to portforward.com, link in description, and they can help you more. Okay, I forgot to mention, uh, once you have that set up, uh, you need to find out what your IP address is to tell other people. So go to whatismyip.org and uh, make sure it's .org because the .com site looks horrible and pops up advertisements. And it'll just give you your IP address right there. Uh, so that's the IP address you need to send to your friends. Of course, if it's a Gary's Mod server, then you just click join game on some on your friend's username thing. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Yes, I'm editing the video while I'm recording the video. Sub Zero, um, I will send I will send you something when I find out the IP for you or whatever. I don't know. Maybe maybe not. I don't. I'm gonna cut this part out. I need to cut this part. Cut this part freaking out.